So this is the case where we have a highly specific video for a highly specific problem, but luckily this is a kind of problem that I think every single one of you has faced, so I hope everybody gets something out of this. So, um, if you've ever rendered an animation ir irrelevant of whatever scene you have, whether it be a monkey on a plane or something more complicated, um, you've noticed that, of course, your render probably has some noise, unless you upped the sample count, but assuming you didn't, uh, you're gonna have some noise, and that's fine. Uh, but the issue is, since this is an animation, uh, what you're gonna start to notice is that this noise almost doesn't look like it's changing at all. Um, it almost looks like we took a kind of like a freeze frame of some noise and kind of pasted it over. And, and that, that's strange, right? Because if the noise uh, was changing every single frame, like if you were to film something in the real world, you know, the noise changes all the time. Um, that would almost make it look better, even though it's more chaotic and all that. Um, so that's what we're going to be addressing today. Why is the noise never changing? Is it something we can fix? And is it something that actually only takes a single button, but nobody knows about? Uh, uh, yes to all of these. So uh, here we have a, a simple scene. Again, this works for any kind of animation. If you have a freeze frame, irrelevant, or if you're rendering a still frame, irrelevant. But if you're rendering an animation, any scene works. So uh, here we have a blender scene. And you can see that, you know, we can render this thing. I'm actually going to lower the sample count so we can render it pretty quickly. And you're going to notice that, you know, there's some noise. There's going to be more noise in the darker areas than the bright areas. That's just how it is. Um, but uh, the important thing is if I was to go one frame down or a couple frames down and render again, um, if we were to compare these, the noise is going to be identical. There is no change, and if there's a moving camera, then this makes things kind of look weird. Uh, the reason this happens is the way rendering engines work is you take a lot of samples. Um, the more samples you have, the better, but in this case, we have low samples. We take a lot of samples. Um, one thing that matters is the amount, but another thing that matters is kind of like the pattern or the order or the way in which we take the sampling. Uh, uh, by default, Blender takes a sam takes sampling in a certain order, a certain pattern, and that's just what it is. It doesn't change, uh, which means the noise that's going to happen is going to repeat again and again and again, and we get this kind of like noise on a flat thing going on. Um, so here's how we fix it with a single button. What you are going to do is in the render tab, you're going to go down to advanced. I don't blame you for not opening this. It is called advanced. Uh, we open it and you're going to see something called a seed value. And you might have not known what this is, but if you just like look into it, a uh, seed value for the integrator to get different noise patterns. So um, exactly like we were saying, we want different sampling or noise patterns uh, such that it changes every frame. And you could animate this or there's actually a convenient little button that we enable. And this just makes it different for every frame. Use different seed values for different frames. Uh, this just makes it so that if we were to render, especially, you know, if things are changing with a moving camera, uh, the noise isn't going to be identical. Of course, this isn't an issue if your sample count is very, very high, uh, but assuming it's not, and maybe you intentionally do it that way so that you still have some noise and it looks kind of like real and all that. Um, this way, it's going to update, and hopefully you're seeing a before and after of, like, the differences. Hopefully YouTube compression doesn't kill this kind of thing. This is the kind of thing you want to watch in the 1080p HD, but... One button solution. I know I could have explained that in 30 seconds, but I wanted to give the whole kind of build up of why it's important, the theory behind it and the solution. So there we go. I don't think there's much more to say about that. Um, and uh, not a good time to go full screen. Good time to go full screen with the face though. Um, yeah, that, that's everything you need to know about that. So uh, click that button from now on. That's all there is to it.